Officially formed in 1921, Marine Bands and Halo has thrilled countless millions throughout the world with its inspiring rendition of traditional and contemporary music. Each member of the band has completed love crew training and maintains combat skills, giving true meaning to the title Marine Musicians. Marine Band San Diego is under the leadership of Ward Officer Megan Harper, Band Officer, and Master Sergeant Frederick Kern, Band Master. Today, the band is led on the march by the drum major, gunnery sergeant Greg Palmer, and is under the direction of the enlisted conductor, staff sergeant Rand Ponser de Ten.
Bulldog Bird as a one-year-old, full-blooded English Bulldog, born in Caldwell, California, on October 22, 2022. He is named after Major General Hilo Oda, of the first general office killed during the Vietnam War. Major General Hope was also the commanding general of the Depot from November of 1963 to February of 1967. General Hope was awarded the Minnesota Service Medal, the Legion of Merit with Combat B for Valor, the Navy Combination Medal with Gold Star in lieu of third award, and the Purple Heart with Gold Star in lieu of Navy Combat Medal. Hope was the first Navy Combat Medal recipient of the Navy Combat Medal 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 of the
five of subjects required to produce an AC Lorraine to function effectively in garrison. Our training in rudimentary individual field and combat skills and practice the personal and professional traits which distinguishes them as Marines. Examples of these traits are discipline, the achievement of self-control and self-awareness which assures respect for authority, instant and willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military barracks consistently demonstrate military presence and personal awareness, as well as a proper way and maintenance of uniforms. Esprit de corps acquired the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others towards excellence in common goals. For 248 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls. In the harshest conditions, on the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies, Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Although battlefields change and capabilities evolve, history proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine with skill resolve. The drive to overcome any obstacle and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, semper fidelis, to form, country, and each other that are found throughout our joint legacy. Marines today remain in combat, forward deployed throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be the most ready when the nation is least ready. To defend freedom anytime and anywhere. And stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters. To pay tribute to those who have forged our proud legs. And to honor the family and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Company H, today marks the end of the 13-week recruit training cycle. They have lost countless miles at Camp Pendleton, as well as on this parade day, and have been trained as our Marines as facing regiment. In addition, new plans and some physical training programs, their strength and endurance have built us at their level for the Marine people. Our Marines will arise to take their places in the ranks of the world's finest fighting organization. are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade.
The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hands over their hearts for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove them. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors? Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. At the command, post the color. The color guard moves into position within the parade. This signifies that the entirety of the parade has been formed and is ready to be presented to the command. Following the command, parade breath. The parade adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band to parade forward of the assembled marine while playing military marching music.
Kazakhstan now presents the assembled command to the commander of troops.
Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title of United States Marine. Many who helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to Paul and Patrick. Ladies and gentlemen, the battalion commander for 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Paul C. Troyer. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Brigadier General James A. Ryans, the Commanding General of Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego in the Western Recruiting Region, as well as on behalf of Colonel Peter M. Rummler, Commanding Officer of Recruit Training Regiment, welcome to the graduation of Company H. To start, I'd like to recognize today's parade reviewing official, Major General William J. Bowers, whose impressive bio you'll hear shortly, and who currently serves as the Commanding General of Marine Corps Recruiting Command. General, it is an honor to have you here today. Thank you for joining us. It is my distinct pleasure to speak to you this morning for a few moments to express the pride and gratitude I feel for this formation behind me. And that begins with you, the family and friends of these new Marines. Thank you for trusting us with your Marines. And thank you for your love and support on their journey to this momentous day in their new profession. From all of us, welcome to our Marine Corps family. Speaking of families, to the right of the viewing stand are the families of the Company H staff. No one knows more than you the time and dedication it takes to transform a civilian into a Marine. Sergeant Major and I are incredibly grateful and indebted to you for your sacrifice and support, which enables these drill instructors and officers to perform this critical task. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the families of Hotel Hell. Making Marines is a team effort. At the forefront are Marine Corps recruiters stationed across our great country. These men and women work tirelessly to identify, educate, and inspire the next generation of Marines. This leisure of recruiters are represented today by Sergeant Lemos of Recruiting Substation San Jose, South California, who is responsible for helping the company honor graduate Lance Couple Wynn to join our Corps. Our other teammate in this effort are the instructors at Weapons Field Training Battalion, who teach the critical combat skills necessary to fight and win in any climb and place. They are represented today by Sergeant Foster. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our recruiters and our combat instructors. The last group I would like to thank certainly needs no introduction for everyone knows the distinct campaign cover of a legendary Marine Corps drill instructor. These drill instructors are entrusted with the sacred responsibility of making Marines, and they shoulder this burden with professionalism, dignity, and compassion. From the moment a recruit arrives at the depot, there is a drill instructor with him 24 hours a day, seven days a week, tirelessly instilling the qualities in a screen for the United States Marine, and leaving an indelible mark on those they lead. These new Marines will never forget the name, the face, or the voice of their drill instructor. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the Marines that make Marines, the drill instructors of Hotel Hell. These new Marines behind me are on average 20-year-old high school graduates. Eight of them have college degrees. They've traveled here from every state and territory in the West, in the Western recruiting region. Fifteen countries have our have been integrated in smaller ways like Syria, Thailand, Samoa, and the Philippines. When they raised their right hand and swore a solemn oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, they differentiated themselves from 
is going to appear. Now you'll likely notice it changes you. But the most important change is one that has occurred with them, for they have been immersed in our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. And it is because of this, because of the journey they have undergone, I am pleased to present 305 young men who can proudly claim the title United States Marines. Excuse me for a moment while I address the newest members of our corps. Good morning, Marines. Sergeant Major and I are extremely proud of you. We have watched you grow and strive over the last 12 weeks. We are pleased to welcome you to our ranks. You should be proud of what you've accomplished here. You've earned your hand belt in Marine Corps Martial Arts. You've passed water survival training. You've overcome the obstacle and confidence course, and you've mastered Marine Corps marksmanship. You can accurately fire your weapon from 500 yards. And as a final test, you've completed the centerpiece of recruit training, the Crucible, an event designed to make Marines into better warriors. With little food, little sleep, and over 40 miles of force marches in three days, we demanded physical toughness, mental agility, and leadership. And through this event, you demonstrated the limitless nature of what you can achieve individually, and most importantly, as a team who shared hardship with your fellow Marines. Having completed the most demanding recruit training, you stand ready to carry on our Marine Corps legacy as America's Naval Expeditionary Force of Readiness. As you begin to transition to the next phase of your profession, I implore you, be smart, be safe, make good decisions. Remember that Eagle Globe and Anchor you now wear represents 248 years of Marines who've gone before you. You must always be worthy of that legacy. You must protect what you've earned. Congratulations, Marines, Simple Fidelis, and welcome to the Corps. Taking their position in the reviewing area as today's parade review official, Major General William J. Bowers, Commanding General, Marine Corps Recruiting Command. He is accompanied by Brigadier General James A. Ryan II, Commanding General, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, and the Western Recruiting Region. As is customary in military traditions, we will be rendering honors to the Commanding General. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for honors to Major General Bowers. Expeditionary Force, Okinawa, Japan. 
Strategy Concepts Branch Chief, Joint Staff, J-5 Directorate. Commanding General, Marine Corps University Education Command. Commanding General, Marine Corps Installations Pacific, Marine Corps Base, Camp Butler, Okinawa, Japan. Major General Bowers currently serves as the Commanding General, Marine Corps Recruiting Command. Major General Bowers' personal distinctions include the Legion of Merit with Gold Star, the Bronze Star, the Defense Meritorious Service Medal with Oak Leaf Cluster, the Meritorious Service Medal, the Navy and Marine Corps Combination Medal with two Gold Stars, the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal, and the Humanitarian Service Medal. He was the Combat Engineer Officer of the Year in 1998 and has received several academic and writing awards. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Major General William J. Bowers.
the zigzag summer difficult transition where players become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Holy L. Wigman. The company first sergeant is Gunnery Sergeant Juan D. Matos. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Hotel Company. portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guidelines.
the Army right here from Woods Hill, two thousand one hundred and sixty five. It is Pilot First Class Danny J. Hyde from Turlock, California. The Army right here from Woods Hill, two thousand one hundred and sixty six. It is Pilot First Class Troy C. Brewer from Louisville, Texas. And the honor graduate from Woods Hill, 2167. And the series honor graduate is Private First Class, Avril A. Rogers from Oakland, California. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduate of Hotel Company. First Sergeant will not give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoon. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. 